Hi guys, today we're going to compare two kinds of cars. No, not like Ferraris and Mercedes Benzes or Toyotas versus Kias, although we pretty much know who's going to win the second comparison. And you know, this is not going to become Top Gear SNT, although that's going to, that would have been a lot more fun driving around the racetrack. Um, no, we're going to compare hybrid cars and conventional cars and talk about which one is better. Now, in every time you do a comparison about what is better, the most important thing is the standard of comparison, right? What is better? So this type of comparison is evaluative, it's empirical. You take two things and you say, why is this thing better than this other thing? Um, and you need to think about how am I comparing the better? Is it better because it's cheaper? Is it better because one has more quality? Is it better because it's prettier? Right? But that will lead you to another question. Uh, better for who? Because if I'm going to argue it's cheaper, if people have money, then they don't really care, right? If I'm going to argue that it's prettier, if people don't care about design, then it doesn't really matter, right? So what this debate will come down to, and the important thing in this discussion is identifying what you mean by better, and then talking about who it's going to be better for. And the better for, you should need to choose a kind of larger group, an important group. Okay, because if you talk about, say, rich playboys, not really a group that is included in this debate. If you talk about hyper geeks, then again, not a, a gigantic, not a huge group, right? So it's not going, you're not going to be able to sway popular opinion. It's going to be difficult for you to say, I think it's better because it's better for these five people. Uh, and when these five people get what they want, the world's going to be a better place. Uh-uh. You need to talk about why it's better for the majority of people. Okay? So, but before we get into that, a quick let's quickly make sure we understand what are hybrid cars, what are conventional cars. Okay? So hybrid cars, maybe, maybe it's easier to start with, with conventional cars. So conventional cars are also known as, you know, uh, oh, yeah, conventional cars, uh, or ICE cars, right? And, ICE here stands for the internal combustion engine, right? So this was this these are the petrol, gasoline, diesel engines uh, that that burn fuel, okay? And that's how your cars function. It's very interesting if you want to know more about how these engines work. But basically, it burns petrol, and petrol spins the car, the the, the pistons, and those spins the tires, and then your car travels, right? Hybrid cars are sit in between. Conventional cars, uh, ICE, internal combustion engine cars, and electric cars. Right? So in an electric car, you don't have a uh, combustion engine. Combustion meaning things that burn, right? So there's no burning that goes on in that engine. You have an electric motor. How you get the electricity is a different issue. You have batteries, you know, fuel cells, or you do something else that generates electricity. And then the electricity spins the motors and then the cars go, right? So this makes, it can actually can make the cars accelerate a lot faster and also very, very quiet, right? But the problem with electric, a lot of electric cars is holding that electricity, right? Holding the, having battery technology. So a lot of electric cars don't have that much range. After you drive the car for like an hour or, you know, 50 kilometers or something, you need to stop and refuel the car. Whereas petrol cars can travel for hours and hours, miles and miles. And also, it's just infrastructure, right? There's so many petrol stations. So if I can, I drive somewhere, I run out of gas, I can fill it. But the electric car, I don't have that many charging stations. You can't just go and plug it into anywhere, right? You need to have a special place. And even if you can plug it, it's going to be really hard. You can't drive your car into the, the living room. You need to have facilities set up and stuff to charge it. So as battery technology and charging technology improves, what can we do? We have hybrid cars, which are kind of in between the combustion engines, the normal petrol cars, and the electric cars that are battery powered, right? So hybrid cars also have a battery, and they also have an engine. They have the best of both worlds. And the engine charges the battery, right? As, because the engine also spins and like has a dynamo, but it charges slowly, obviously, and it charges through some other pretty interesting ways, like regenerative braking and all that. It gets a little bit technical, but it's, it's really, really cool stuff. 
Um, and the battery can also then power the car, right? So in, in the car is clever. It will choose when um, it's more fuel efficient to use one over the other. So let's say I'm like in a traffic jam and in a traffic jam, your engine is running and it's burning. Every time it's running, it's burning fuel, right? So uh, in that time, then maybe it'll switch over to the electric motor. So it only powers up when it needs to move the car, otherwise engine doesn't run anymore, okay? So the, the hybrid car is, is clever and it can manage how you use. And what that results in is overall a much uh, better mileage. So you can travel far further with less petrol, right? And then and, and you end up saving money, okay? So that's, that's pretty much the, the debate. It's a comparison between this type of technology and this type of technology. Um, and to be honest with you, I think hybrid cars are the way to go, right? They are part of, it's, it's getting more and more popular. The technology initially was very uh, limited and a little bit buggy and very, very expensive, but it's getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Uh, and pretty much almost every kind of new car nowadays is a hybrid, right? Or, or every big company will have some kind of hybrid model. They have Toyotas, Hyundai's, Kia's have hybrids, Ford has a hybrid, Mercedes has a hybrid, Audi has hybrids, BMW has hybrids. Everybody has, has hybrids from the entire range of the consumers. So it's really hard to say why you, know, you shouldn't use hybrids at all. Um, it's going to come down to a kind of choice comparison. And you can show that there's some, still some reasons why people want to use conventional cars. Okay? Um, yeah, um, yeah, that, that, that's, that's, I think, pretty much it, okay. So, let's get down to some arguments. The easier part, defending hybrid cars. So hybrid cars are great. Uh, so, again, so let's not get carried away. Better than, okay, let's write that there so we remember. Hybrid cars are great because it's better than uh, conventional cars. Why is it better than better for what? So the first thing you could say is for the environment. Okay, and this is a big subset group is better for everybody, right? Because everybody needs the environment. How is it better for the environment? It pollutes less, right? That's one, because of the uh, electric uh, motor. Cars can be cleaner. And it also um, uses less petrol, less, uses less fuel. It took to go further, right? Because it's, it's saving fuel when the car is in traffic jams and all and so on and so forth. And the battery allows you to, to use electric power and travel the car further. So it's much better for the environment. You can also argue it's better for the consumer, for people who want to save money, right? For, because it, you, because fuel is important. Uh, well, not fuel is important because people need it, but fuel is expensive. Uh, and that was a big reason why hybrid cars were developed actually or got a lot of uh, uh, attention and focus when when the cost of fuel reached like i don't know 150 dollars a barrel or was going to reach 150 dollars a barrel it became really really expensive to fill your car right so people didn't like to drive that much um, and when if you had effective public transportation then good for you but if you didn't that really affected how people worked um, didn't affect how people did business and the cost of deliveries became much higher and all of those different things, right? So then it made more sense that even if the car initially was expensive, you saved a lot of money in the long run, right? Because fuel is really expensive. And you can still make that argument now that it will still save money in the long run. Hybrid cars are cheaper now than what they used to be five or 10 years ago um, because there are a lot more companies that sell hybrid cars and the technology is uh, improved. The technology uh, is, 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 much, is much better, okay? So those are the two kind of main arguments that you can run over there. It's good for the environment. Uh, it's good for people to save, to save uh, money, the benefits of hybrid cars, but these are big arguments and you can flesh it out. Talk about safe uh, petrol, use less petrol, you need less exploration, so on and so forth. Um, the, the emissions, you know, to the environment and all that, and then um, saves money on fuel, the cost of the car also has reduced. Okay, so these are two things you can talk about on why hybrid cars are better than conventional cars. 
Um, if you want, you can also talk about how the, this you, it encourages buying a hybrid car or encourages the development of this technology. Right, so we need more consumer take up. People buy it now, they use it, they get used to it, then more people will do it, and more people will do it. So if you are a, a conscious consumer, then you should support this because this leads to all of these things. Maybe. Okay? Something you about, something for you to, to think about. But why may it not be better? Um, I think a large part of you showing why it may not be better right, is going to talk about uh, defending the conventional engines. Okay? I don't think you should say that hybrid cars are terrible, they are useless, and you know, uh, we don't want hybrid cars, we want only electric cars, or only conventional cars. Or I don't think you should say, I don't care about the environment, it's my, I want to drive my supercar. Um, yeah, I don't think those are, are, are great arguments. Okay? But um, talk about how, even as technology is developed everywhere else, it's not like we're driving the same uh, conventional cars today that we used to drive 10 years ago. Conventional cars have also gotten far more efficient, far more fuel efficient, uh, much lighter, and they managed to balance the fuel and use them much, much more effectively, right? They also use much cleaner fuels than we use, the, than we used to use before, okay? Uh, how's the fuel cleaner? They either you know, create biofuel, so you inject things like ethanol of uh, like plant-based alcohols into the fuel so the emissions uh, get 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 reduced um, and biofuels are also more sustainable because you can grow these plants right okay so and biofuels a big advantage of this is you can most of you can use biofuels in most new conventional cars with minimum modification right uh, you can also use natural gas um, Right, so natural gas, liquid petrified, liquid liquidified petroleum gas, LPG. So like a lot of taxis, you take a taxi, you open the trunk because you're gonna put your luggage and suddenly, whoa, there's a big tank in the taxi. Why is there a big tank in the taxi that's liquidified petroleum gas, right? And LPGs are far less polluting to the environment um, and also much, much cheaper, right? So that's why taxis use them and taxis can travel long distances on, on LPGs, right? The problem with this is these two things also, some of the same things with the batteries, you don't get a lot of gas uh, uh, stations where most people can, can fill them up and use them. But people argue the advantage of these things is that you can modify current cars to use them. That's why you see taxis use them. So even not hybrid taxis, right? Just regular taxis. Can our regular cars can be modified to use liquefied petroleum gas, natural gas, or modified to use biofuel, right? Um, and this has been a big thing, especially like in Brazil, the biofuels. They make uh, ethanol from sugarcane, and then they use that sugarcane, mix it up a little bit with, with petroleum, or sometimes use it pure, and put it into the cars. And cars can run off that, right? Uh, and that has less pollutants to the environment, uh, and also more people can access it, okay? So, when you're doing the better than on op, you can talk about talk about these options, right? And talk about how, why it's better than because it's, it's more accessible. Okay, so say how conventional cars, new conventional cars are much, much cleaner uh, than, than the old conventional cars and more people can access them and use them. But also the new clean technology like LPG, like biofuels and these things on the other side that you can use with conventional cars are far more accessible, right? So it's more accessible and uh, cleaner. Whether or not it's cleaner than hybrid cars may go a little bit back and forth. There is some evidence that if you use just LPGs or biofuels, it can actually be still cleaner than hybrids because hybrids still use natural well, normal petroleum and they still have uh, emissions, right? But if it's not cleaner, it's going to be as clean uh, as, as petroleum. So this is you trying to win the environment point or trying to show how you on the op also care about environment, right? So this is, you can still show why they're more accessible, why they're cleaner. You, secondly, you can also talk about money. So why it's better for the consumer 
Everybody wants to talk about money because it saves money. Okay, so if if I'm a consumer now and if I have a conventional car, right? I bought this maybe three years ago. It's a nice car, I like this car, right? And I drive this a lot, I'm very comfortable with it, but I also care about the environment. It's a big ask for me to sell this car to buy a hybrid, right? Because hey, I like this car, it has a name and everything, you know, I call it Judy. Um, but I can modify it to be cleaner, right? So I can I can use it. Um, but even if you know I didn't modify it, and if I drove it carefully or um, you know safely, it can, it's still not bad, right? Because it's about how you drive the car. Perhaps if I don't drive it that much, if I use public transportation, if I do all these other different things, I may not be impacting the environment as much as other people. Okay, so it's still, you can say that conventional cars are still better for the consumer. If the consumer really needs to buy a car in order to travel and do all these things, that car is going to be cheaper. If the consumer already has a conventional car, then the consumer can not drive as much or manage his driving and still be better for the environment. If the consumer still cares about the environment, it costs less money for the consumer to modify his car to use biofuels or LPG than to buy a hybrid car, right? So it's better then for the consumer who is driving a conventional car or has a conventional car. Now, if you're making a choice over which one you should buy, then you can still make the argument for conventional cars by talking about how they're more choice with conventional cars, right? Uh, the more, far more functionality with conventional cars. If I want big cars, small cars, trucks, tall cars, short cars, there are a lot more choice for the consumer when it comes to conventional cars. So on the choice level, conventional cars will be, right? because you just have that much more choice. All right, so it's an interesting debate. Uh, I think it may be a little bit technical on the, on the uh, surface, but it's actually not, not that much, right? Do maybe you watch a video about hybrid car technology and you learn a lot because you are riding in, I promise you at least two or three of these cars, right? If you've, you've survived a journey in them. Um, think about why one side may choose one over the other. Um, but at the end of the day, a lot of this thing is going to come down to what the consumer is looking for and what that specific consumer wants, all right? Ride along now, ride along now, and enjoy the debate, as always.